Hello, I'm Bo Grzeski. Today we'll be exploring Minecraft for Education. It's an app and a program that can be used to demonstrate understanding of concepts in a 3D environment. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, give us feedback or check out our related videos by clicking at the pop-up cards in the upper right-hand corner. Here's how to get started with Minecraft. Okay, so this is the Minecraft Education homepage. Once you get into here, you need to go to Download. Now, if you are on your teacher laptop, you need to make sure it's been updated to Windows 10. If you have a MacBook, just make sure it has the latest operating system on there. It may help. And for the iPad, you can go to our self-service container and download it from there. We're going to help you get installed and see how you can use it next. Something like this, the very first thing you will see is the Microsoft login page. If you are a teacher, you would just log in with your Ori County Schools email. If you are a student, you would put in your computer username at m.oricountyschools.net. Now, not every student of ours is in the system yet, so if you want to have your students use this tool, please send me an email with your rosters and I will help you get into it as quick as possible. But if you want your students to play, we need your rosters and they will need the program. So that's your next step. Probably what happened after you put in your email that first time, another Ori County Schools window popped up asking for your password again. That's very normal. Also, hopefully by this point, you have provided your student names and now that they can log in with their m.oricountyschools.net. So now they're on this page. Maybe they see their avatar. If they don't like their avatar, you can hit your hanger. You can change it up. You know you have your default view, but you have some other costumes and stuff that you could choose from. You're going to have other students at various stages, so this is a good time for them to work on their costume. Check out some of these great education resources that they have. But our next thing we're going to do is go to your settings. Make sure your world is set up, depending how you like to turn around you can. They give you all your buttons on how to do that. Probably a good idea to leave these by default. On your touch device, if you're on the iPad, you can play around with these features. Uh, I like under video, third person. You know, what is your your default point of view. I like the third person back point of view. Um, you can hide these other things in the setting. Global resources you could probably leave. Under the how to play, they have lots of the great stuff. If you've never even used this before, it's just a nice place to get started that you can get into it. These are all the basic settings of the game that you can set up, but what if we gotta change our world? Our world is where we're gonna have our students come join us. If I'm going to create a word, you can see some of the worlds that I have started already. I would hit Create New. And the templates are a great way to get started. Especially if you want to try to incorporate some, some coding into your class, then check out the Code Builder tutorial. Survival mode is going to allow them to go around and um, possibly get hurt or be attacked by monsters. If you just want people to go in, check out Creative. Keep it peaceful and easy, that's all good. You can leave all that stuff around. Now they activate cheats. I like to keep these on, especially always day. But check out your classroom settings as well. I would turn off mobs. This means monsters won't come and attack them. You don't want any bombs. You don't want them getting hurt. You don't want them hurting each other. So this way the kids would just go in and be able to play the game and just really focus on what you need them to do. Multiplayer will be on by default. And now I'm going to create. And now I am in this world, I can hit my W key, move around, I can explore. But in Code Builder, I'm going to get this little robot to follow me wherever I need to go. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.